All right, welcome back. It's Black Friday, and that means that a ton of people right now are stressing to get to their favorite stores. They're lining up outside. It's November, so that means that it's cold and rainy outside. They're fighting each other to get the best deals, and it's just a mess. And I'm a programmer, so I don't really feel like going outside or like interacting with people, standing in lines, waiting for things. So what I came up with is something that I'm super excited about, and that is we're gonna create a little program that's essentially gonna search the web and find the best Black Friday deals for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a program using the Python programming language, and that program is gonna do some web scraping for us. And if you don't know what web scraping is, it's simply where you write a program that goes to some website and does something on that website for you without you having to do anything. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now let's get started. Actually, before we get started, I should just mention how this program is going to work. So we're going to use the Amazon website and we're going to scrape that to find the best deals for certain products. So let's say that you're looking for a 32 inch monitor, then the program will go to Amazon and will search for 32 inch monitor and it will get all of the results. And then it'll sort that and find the product with the biggest discount. And that will then be the product with the best deal. So if we're looking for a 32 inch monitor, it will find the 32 inch monitor that used to be priced the most and now is priced the least. So the difference there is gonna be the biggest. And that is how we decide that that is the best deal. So that's kind of how this is gonna work. So now let's get into some actual coding. So uh, now I've managed after like five hours of doing this, it shouldn't have taken five hours, but for some reason uh, using beautiful soup didn't work because I used it and then it worked. And then all of a sudden I just ran it a couple times and then all of a sudden it stopped working. So that was a extreme struggle. So now I've had to use selenium and it's super hard to actually get the right stuff with selenium compared to a beautiful soup. So, but now I do have the right stuff. So now we get all of the results from the first page. We print the title of the uh, product and we also get the previous price. We also get the price that it is at right now. The next step is to get essentially all of the results by looping through all the different pages. All right, so that's what we're gonna do now. All right, so this is what I've created here is this for loop and that essentially checks uh, finds the lowest priced product and also the product with the biggest discount and one of the things that was happening before was that when you search for Am in amazon it could bring up things that are related to what you're searching for but not actually what you're looking for so what i also added is uh, this little loop that essentially checks whether either of these words exists in the product name. And if it doesn't exist in the product name, that means that it's probably not the right product that we're looking for. For instance, if it's like a monitor arm or something like that, that we're not actually looking for, then uh, we don't want to display that to the user. So this is kind of a rough uh, way of doing it. It's It could be improved a lot because there are still like some edge cases here that would slip through and uh, some things that we may want to see that we won't get to see. And then what we do is we also open up uh, the best deal product. So that means that we open up the product with the biggest discount essentially. So now let's run this and we'll see what this ends up looking like. 
All right, so this is what we get as the response. Uh, don't change. So the price of this one right now is 159. It was 169. Um, previous price 800. Okay, wait. All right, so just quickly want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Dot Tech Domains. So when you're building a website or a business or anything related to tech, a good idea would be to have a domain name that's actually related to the area that you're working in. So I, for instance, have calh.tech. I have calholden.tech. I also have automating.tech. And a lot of other companies like Viacom, Intel, CES are actually moving to .tech domains as well. And the good thing about having a .tech domain is that it tells the user straight away what your website or business is about because it has that .tech in the name. You know when you go to that website it's going to be about something related to tech. So as a Black Friday special you're going to get 90% off your very own .tech domain if you go to go.tech slash calholden and that's 90% off the one, five and 10 year plans. So just go there and use the coupon code BFCM19 and you'll get 90% off the one and five and 10 year plans. All right, let's get back into it. So finally now I think it's working, um, I've been sitting now for about seven hours I think and it's just been a complete mess trying to get this to work but now it does work and it works exactly the way that I want it to work which is really uh, exciting. So now we can try to run it and I'll show you how it works. So as we run it it will ask us what are you looking for we're looking for a 32 inch monitor today and then it will perform the search it will go to amazon.com it will search for 32 inch monitor and then now it prints all the pages that it's gone through so it's gone through page two three and right now i've set it to go through 10 pages because it's it starts at page two so uh, 12 here in this case will lead to 10 pages uh, being looked through, I believe. All right, so here we go. We've looked through a couple pages and then it will print the cheapest item that it found and also the item with the biggest uh, discount. So the item with the biggest discount was Samsung 32 inch widescreen curved monitor. Uh, that used to be priced at 499 now it's priced at 229.9 and then it also opens up to this uh, product so that we can see it and as you can see it says that it used to be 499 and now it's 229 and that's I'm, I think that's super exciting because that means that we can very easily find products at the right price or what we're looking for. Usually something that I'm very interested in is products that are that have the biggest discount because if, if you look at this right now, it used to be almost five hundred dollars and now it's like two hundred and thirty dollars. So that's a pretty good deal if you were to actually purchase this uh, this monitor. Now you can make this script even more advanced and make it uh, sort through all these stuff, these things a lot better. But for me right now, I'm super happy about this. And this means that I can keep track of some uh, Black Friday deals. And just in general, anytime I wanna look up something, uh, I can just use the script and find the cheapest product or the uh, product with the biggest discount uh, in this category. And then what I also did is I created a JSON file here called products and that essentially just lists all of the products here so that if I want to do something in the future where I want to essentially search through this and find a product at a certain price range or something like that, I can use this JSON file and then sort through all that stuff if I want to. All right, but that's this one done. 
All right, so that's what we ended up making and I'm super happy and really excited about the results because this means that I just have to search for whatever I want and then this program will take care of all the boring stuff like looking through the search results, going through the different pages and then it will just display or show me the product with the biggest discount or the best deal, which is super useful for Black Friday. So I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please give it a like and also I will leave a link to the GitHub repository in the description in case you want to try this out yourself. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.